Howdy, 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 my beautiful Pisces. How are you doing, darling? My name is Simply Velka, and today we're going to be getting into your weekly tarot reading, Pisces, for July. All right, and if you enjoy this weekly tarot reading today, Pisces, I promise you, you will enjoy this top uh, right-hand corner reading right here. It'll t here, darling, it'll take you to your monthly tarot reading, and I promise you'll enjoy it. And let me know in the comments below how they resonate with you. I enjoy hearing y'all in the comments. That's how I keep up with y'all. All right, Pisces? So when it comes to consuming tarot readings today, consume more than just your one zodiac sign, Pisces, remember. Can, uh, consume your sun moon rising as well as your venus so you can understand clearly what's going on in your personal life all right pisces and if you enjoy my reading today be sure if you want to support me in a completely free way darling pisces just give this video a like and subscribe it's completely free to do and i really appreciate to those who take the extra step to do that because i realize you don't have to pisces all right so let's get right into your tarot reading here today darling all right your first row today pisces we're going to be talking about your career and financial situation see what's happening there and then in regards to your second row we're going to be talking about your social life we could be talking tapping into a platonic relationship a family relationship something romantic darling it's up for you to figure that out right because every single pisces's life is different and in the third row pisces is my personal favorite row which is going to be getting into just some predictions of what i see happening for you and trying to give you some more clarity of understanding what is happening in your life at this current point in time and why it's happening all right so starting this off though pisces back of the deck energy is the chariot card coming in here all right off to the races here pisces that's the first thing that comes to mind here off to the races <clears throat> what i see happening for you here pisces i feel like it's like due to you starting something due to you doing something because when i think about off to the races i think about nascar honey i know you're probably just like girl valka when you watch nascar right but i actually personally love anyways let me not sidetrack but when i think about those type of races right it's usually like the waving of a flag or just you know other stuff i can't say on youtube because they get triggered by the g word but it's like something starts it something initiates it right pulling the lever and i that's what i see happening for you I feel like this happens really like the momentum really starts building up um, for you and more so like in the final days of july here i see for you personally pisces i feel like this really picks up in august like you're really going to see the benefits or like the um blossoming of this chariot energy more so in august all right now how you would associate this energy for your financial and career here this is just really fast forward momentum with whatever it is that you have been already working on pisces all right the more it's like the more coal that you dump into the uh you know i don't know the proper word for it when you know when you dump coal into the train thing darling all right you know i'm, I'm a tarot reader darling i'm not no uh chaka chaka chewer i don't know <laughs> there's a word for people that are into trains but um it's just like fastening the pace here so it's just like continue feeding coal into whatever it is that you are doing that's gonna sit on my mind until i know like uh conductor isn't that what it is they're called conductors there we go pisces i promise you i'm all the way down sometimes anyways in regards to your social life you would associate the cherry energy as uh, i see this in a couple of different ways here uh pisces i see the cherry energy of where uh internally i see momentum building like you building up the courage to do something with somebody all right I see this in an external way. Someone perhaps as well could be approaching you pretty quickly here as well, just due to the cards that I see associated with this here. In general predictions, just this is just a week of where Pisces, you're going to just be noticing intuitively, like you're going to think about something intuitively and then it's going to happen shortly after, right? So you might even think about randomly, it's just like the thought of like, oh, a doorbell might ring or, you know, just the ringing of a doorbell might just come to your head. You might hear buzzing and then it short happens shortly after, right? It's those type of manifestations i don't feel like it's like an extended thing where it's just like you get a prophetic dream th today and then like six months down the road it, ha it like it makes sense it's like no it's like i get it in like quick succession like boom 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 i don't know that may not make sense to any pisces but that's fine darling all right let's get into these rotero rows now all right starting with your career and financial situation pisces you have the ten of wands as well as cups here and then the king of pentacles now that's interesting and also remember darling that this is this cherry energy is going to be influencing all of this pisces okay <sighs> i see how, uh, coming in for your career of just you know tens represents closures to cycles pisces and i feel like you've been putting in a lot of work towards something that you love here with that ten of cups that lets me know that you are emotionally fulfilled but you're also tired it's like you've been working over time on something and while yes you are fulfilled it's just been really exhausting with what it is that you're doing right but i get the word like final stretch here 
that's what happens because I feel like you know the journey of the ten of wands well you know this is the part where you're gonna have to just go along with it darling okay Pisces but I see kind of this journey where it's just like you've been putting in a lot of work you know it's like you went off for like two months right isn't that what a trucker does sometimes is like certain truckers will just be off for weeks at a time and then they come back home and they get that fat paycheck darling right that's how I see this as it's like you've been on a long journey carrying um doing the work whatever it is that it's been doing and once you get to your destination which is shortly here uh coming in here with that king of pentacles accompanying these two tens um that's what you end up looking like after you get to bring home that finish bringing home this harvest here as something that you've been doing that you love to do right you go out hunting and while hunting is something that you enjoy doing it brings home the food puts food on the table it's still exhausting right and so i feel like for you pisces it's like the sense of like finally reaping some of the benefits of the hard work that you as i think i even said at the beginning of you're reading Pisces of like that you have been doing already all right this is not like a sense of where um well of course we have new energies coming in naturally with the closure of cycles for you but I just feel as if this is like energy that is currently already here just being elevated it's nothing like too like I don't get too much like new um projects and stuff like that I don't know I talk with my hands, <laughs> Pisces, you have to forgive me. It's like, ooh, it's a spicy meat ball. <laughs> I've been more self-conscious about it now that I don't have my face on the camera for now. <laughs> Let's get into your second row here, Pisces. All right, you have the Knight, of, uh, yeah, the Knight of Wands coming in here with the King of Swords, and then that Moon energy coming in here. All right, so in, a, in a, uh, taking this message internally here for you, Pisces. All right, I feel like some of you guys are starting to come out of your shell here. To be honest, Pisces, I feel like something's going to be bringing you out of your shell. You might be meeting somebody like because of this court card coming in here that helps you. Um, let me express the storyline here, Pisces. I have so, like, whenever I'm doing these cards, it's sometimes just like so many messages at once. I gotta organize the thoughts. So, we're going to have this as a storyline here. And you're gonna have to go along with the Pisces because I understand you're a water sign. But yes, I see you as this King of Swords here, a little bit reserved, very intelligent, very much so to your own craft. You probably, that cliche, right? You enjoy the company of animals more than most people because people are just complicated. People are just, you know, they're spooky, darling, right? You, you know, humans are naturally dark arts or gray arts, I suppose pose great energy and so with that moon energy there um it's like that's what you're encapsulated in right kind of just like to your own self and then you have this knight of wands that pops in here out of nowhere from that dark trying to pull you out of that shell i don't know why i get like the scenario of like you sitting at a wedding pisces and someone coming over to you and like pulling you trying to get you onto the dance floor all right. I don't know why I had a specific scenario like that. And I don't know why it was had to be a wedding, but that's what it was here. And so I feel like for you internally, it's like something's going to be happening to get you out of your shell more, whether it's through different opportunities that happen from your career that allows you to do so, or whether it's just through people here. Because I do see a, a good chunk of you here, probably Pisces. It's like some Knight of Wands coming in here. Um, more youthful energy here. Not to say that they're immature or anything like that, but it's just like, I mean, darling, you can be like, you look at like who? Like Jane Fonda, right? Jane Fonda and Lily Tomlin, right? They're the perfect examples of being older mature but they still exude that youthful energy and if you don't know who jane fonda is or lily tomlin darling i mean i ain't gonna make you feel bad about it because why would you keep up with celebrities that's a weird thing to shame someone about not knowing them but i suggest you looking them up you might recognize them and they're just such lovely individuals so i'm getting i'm gonna know why i'm getting off subject a lot with you guys right now pisces anyways heart of your spread right now is the moon energy a lot of things coming in that are unexpected for you, Pisces. Um, I just said my mic. I apologize. I feel like for you, I, I keep on hearing you say, it's just like, oh, wow, this is not in my calculations. Like, I know you can't see me, but I was just like scratching my chin because I feel like that's what you look like. You're just like, no, hold on, Pisces. You're just like, hmm, like this, this, I wasn't planning this. I wasn't expecting this. <laughs> this is Pisces, right? That's what I feel like is going to be happening for you, Pisces. All right. Like. And I feel like this, like what comes up for you, what comes up for you in the coming days really turns your life upside down in a very nice way. It's a nice change of pattern. It breaks your routine. And while I, most of the time you don't want your routine break, broken, I feel like what's coming in for you is a nice 
change of pace i feel like it further elevates you there's something that you can really develop from this because while yes the king of swords darling is someone that i admire i feel like anyone that exudes the king is like i have such i'm attracted to people that have passion and i'm attracted to intelligence right i'm attracted to very self-aware individuals and so king of swords energy darling right like it's beautiful like just so y'all know uh pisces like a non-biased in that way but the king of swords sometimes can take themselves too seriously the king of swords sometimes enjoys the company a little bit too much pisces all right so it's just like that refinement you know there's always that sen nice sense of balance but i guess that's my libra scorpio cusp coming out uh getting into your third row here pisces you have the six and eight of pentacles with the seven of cups here having your hands in multiple pots to elevate yourself here pisces i feel like this is a message of where those you can go you can get to your destination in more than just one path here right and so with this eight of pentacles by definition i believe the eight of pentacles represents like going back to school as we all know though pisces like going to school isn't the way isn't the answer to everything for furthering yourself but there is a sense like you take the literal message of it of just like going up in the ranks like elevating yourself right pisces and i see you elevating yourself through experimenting right you're looking at other opportunities you're looking at other cups you're trying out different things right and see which one gives the best exchange right i feel like in the coming days for you pisces you're gonna have different opportunities of different cups to explore and to see how it could be potentially benefit you here don't be afraid of exploring at this current point in time be a little bit more adventurous pisces that's really again i'm noticing this theme here not only of you getting um uh, energy trying to pull you out of your shell pisces in terms of just socially but also just pulling you out of your shell from like um just from life in general a little bit being able to have a little bit more fun relax a little bit and even perhaps that's why i'm acting a little bit more unhinged more unhinged than normal i suppose darling and my tarot readings for you pisces is like i'm being a little bit more silly for y'all or maybe i'm just projecting darling but it's like maybe that's the type of energy that you need to exude more you know because and speaking from experience pisces darling you can go back on my channel there's been time periods of my channel where i've been doing tarot readings and it's just very structured and you know just about the tarot reading itself not really allowing my personality through and sometimes it's good you know there's a time and place for it but also sometimes having some personality is really lovely right pisces and so i feel like that's the time you know that's really what it is it's like there's the time and place to be that king of swords but there's also a time and place to just let go and be that knight of wands Wands because what makes the knight of wands the you know the knight of wands gets such a hard time pisces but it's like in, in the right setting with the right correct guidance the knight of wands is absolutely a powerful person to be when it's complimented by the king of swords here because the knight of wands is like you can't tell the knight of wands not to do something or they can't do something because they will be the first one to be like darling if i want to do it i'm gonna do it right but then you have the refinement the beautiful refinement of the king of swords the more responsible energy the more where it's just like each step is more like it's calculated but it's, it's calculated and it's based off of that passion like i don't know i feel like it's a nice beautiful complementary of energies here for you pisces all right and i feel like you're going to be discovering that in the coming days of finding that balance between um that king of swords and then just being a little bit more playful but let's start clarifying your rows now darling pisces let's see what's going to be happening as a reminder we're going to be tapping into that first row with your career and financial situation girl <laughs> oh pisces i don't know what it is with y'all's energy look you notice how i'm y'all blaming y'all all the time pisces for my stuff can't even shuffle the cards i really cannot let's do one more bridge shuffle here okay no girl we'll just do this two of pentacles complementing this ten of cups energy here yeah i mean the two of uh, the two of pentacles really complements the ten of cups where it's just like there's the time and place for getting stuff done and then there's a the time and place to just really allow the chaos to happen here uh pisces when it comes to your work it is again finding that correct balance between you know balancing your checkbook or balancing your funds like balancing like the more paperwork side of things and then just like also like tending to the chaos of it all and kind of allowing things to just you know, have its place i don't know i don't know why pisces i just feel like this sense of like for you it's like balancing out this seriousness that you have or this sense of like 
yeah, I feel like mm, we'll just continue on here. But I do feel like there is this sense of something's going to be pulled out of you that allows you to feel a lot more playful. Because some of you guys may have felt Pisces that you haven't been able to be playful or be yourself due to your environment or due to just because you've been really wanting to reach a certain level of success. You have the Eight of Wands, or not the Eight of Wands, the Seven of Wands complementing your Ten of Wands coming in here. All right. I want to clarify this with one more card before I start speaking. Okay. Yeah. Knight of Cups. So I wish I said this so you understood why I wanted to say clarify it. But I got like this sense initially, intuitively, Pisces, that the Seven of Wands came in with this Ten of Wands to assist you with burdens, to assist you with the final home stretch of what it is that you've been doing for your career here. And then to have this Knight of Cups being pulled afterwards makes a lot of sense. It's like that sense. I always like to say the Seven of, um, I guess it's the Seven of Swords in specific. I like to describe like the Sevens as where it's just like you have a bunch of groceries right and you try to take all the groceries in and one go but then actually this knight of cups comes in here and she's like oh hey you need help with some of those groceries to take inside you know and you still accomplish what it is to that same goal of wanting to get it all in one go all right very silly example but i hope it makes sense for you darling <laughs> all right and clarifying this king of pentacles you have the star card coming in here pretty powerful stuff here uh, Pisces, whenever I see the star card, because of my own personal spiritual beliefs, I see the star card, one, letting you know that you are in your correct uh, soul's purpose, if you align with those type of um, belief systems. But also, Pisces, I see this more so from a spiritual aspect of where it's like getting spiritual's blessing um, with whatever it is the star is shining upon here. All right. And so with this here, uh, because of this Nine of Cups, this gives me like a message of like either some type of opportunity coming in here that is like hmm. i'll just leave it at spirit's blessing all right pisces we'll just leave it at like you have it you're having spirit's blessing with something in regards to your career all right and i'll just leave it like that because i feel like you can just be in so many ways so for who it needs to be heard for like you maybe you've been waiting for a specific sign um in some way or the okay from some type of external sign from your spiritual team maybe that's what it served its purpose as but i felt drawn to just leave it like that all right and then in the back of the deck here pisces you have that nine of wands coming in here that wounded warrior but you end up emerging victorious here all right i feel like it's almost as if someone helps you out with that battle there right with that seven of wands excuse me the allergies darling right because i feel like in this way here again you have all these wands pointed at you and it's like you have all these tasks pointed at you you have all these people pointed at you here and then you have like some help coming in here to help handle that all right to be able to help you handle more resources maybe delegating i don't know all right let's continue on with this reading here now pisces let's clarify your second row with your social all right let's see if we can shuffle these cards any better for your social spread <clears throat> Also, I need to just fix this here, Pisces. This is bothering me a little bit too much, darling. Sometimes when I do the readings, it gets a little bit chaotic, but that's a little bit too chaotic here. <laughs> All right. Clarifying your king of swords here and your social spread, you have the moon energy coming back, right back in here. Again, Pisces, some, someone is coming in here in the midst of you just being in your hermiting phase. All right. It's like there is this sense of like like someone kind of takes you for a loop here for something that you don't expect socially for yourself complementing this moon energy is the four of pentacles and then queen of wands complementing that knight of wands pisces i'm going to be honest here i feel like you this this reads to me just straight up a journey of where it's just like you're minding your own business over here handling like what's to, going to head for you it's like you've been functioning for you've been functioning for a, a while now pisces uh like planning out your future planning out like your blueprint right of like how you're going to go from point a to point b to point b or c or what have you right or or like wanting to uh plan out your dream life right but there was like a certain facet of your life that you didn't know how it was going to go from point a to point b right so whether that was just like either finding like your person right in terms of like a romantic sense or perhaps like a new friendship a new partnership for you it's like some type of new connection comes in out of seemingly nowhere that has this opportunity of four pentacles of like either 
getting the ball going for you, you know, in one way, because the four pentacles can represent in one way where it's just like you kind of been just sitting, doing your own, like sitting and be doing things in a certain way for too long. It's time to switch things up. You could see this as and experimenting with some more unknown things. But I also see this as a potential where it's just like being able to invest your four pentacles into this new unknown interesting queen of wands energy right someone that exudes more passion adventurous here really like again because the queen of wands is complementing that knight of wands here it's a really complementary energy of like so some again like i really feel like some social connection gets you out of your shell more I don't know. It's interesting here. And even in the back of the deck, Pisces, you have the Hierophant energy coming in here. All right. The Hierophant can be known is can be associated with marriage or just like that devoted energy that, you know, nice connection, a nice energy that you can really uh, settle with for a few a uh, few years or a while. All right. It's just an, an energy that it complements the high priestess as well. So it might again, I see that kind of sign of like some type of spiritual significance, perhaps or just giving that same spiritual blessing. But more so with the Hierophant, it represents like how there's a proper verbiage for it, Pisces, but it's like. What you get from that connection is more than just companionship. You can learn from it, whether it's learning more about yourself, learning more about humanity, or learning more from career aspect. You know, whatever this is, it's like this connection that's going to be coming in here has a lot of depth to it, potential depth. Now, getting into your third and final row here, Pisces, just to wrap up your reading, because this is going on for a hot biscuit now, darling. All right. This has been my most chaotic tarot reading in a while now, too. Like, let me just, like, get this. Darling, if you're at this point in time, uh, Pisces, still watching this tarot reading, I'm sure you won't mind me reorganizing these cards for a moment because this is driving me crazy. All right. <laughs> Y'all's reading got, like, un got me unhinged. <clears throat> All right. So clarifying this Eight of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, as well as Six of Pentacles energy, we got here the page of swords with this eight of pentacles here taking action communication as well i believe i believe this was like your only page here pisces and i think at the beginning of your reading i even said it's like it just feels like things that have already been involved in your life or been in your energy are just growing so the same kind of way when it comes to just your thoughts and like things that you've been having a plan on if there's been a point in time for example like you've been sitting on this plan or this idea pisces of at some point in time you know you might have always said it's like oh when i have the free time or the available time i want to get this one project up off the ground to further elevate things or when i have the time i want to it's like it's always like that it starts with the sentence of when i have the time i will then work on x y z all right, you're going to be having that time here in the coming days. All right, you have the King of Swords following you with that Seven of Cups here. I will be saying, Pisces, just because this King of Swords is coming in again here, make sure that you are. <sighs> Some of you guys might be in your head and doubting yourself because this that's what I think it is. It's more so like because of that king or that knight and queen of wands energy is such a foreign thing for you, getting you out of your shell, Pisces. I feel like you might even initially when you start exploring uh, these like dipping your toes into those new ponds, um, it might trigger something in you where you're just like, oh, wait a minute. Am I am, like thinking that you're being a little bit too irrational, right? It's kind of like that, you know, you've seen in the movies, Pisces, where it's just like that cliche, like, um, book nerd, right? And, and pulling him out to a club, right? And they feel like everything they do is like a sin and just like breaking those social barriers for them because it's so out of their norm, right? But just because you are out of your norm doesn't mean that you're any less of a king of swords. If anything, this just further elevates you. Because if you even look, this king of swords, if I can get this card now, this king of swords is a little bit more from the mystical manga. This one right here has a little bit more emotion to them. It's softer features compared to this more rugged one here, right? So it's like, what energy comes forward to you, Pisces? This is turning out to be a very long reading, but it's like, I don't know. I feel like this is like kind of impactful here. It's where it's like that nice wands, passionate, fiery energy that happens takes like smooths out some of those rugged features. And while you still are that king of swords, it's with smoother features. It's with the place of where you still hold that sense of respect, that intelligence, but also a little bit more in touch with your emotions, you know, being able to have fun. Mm -mm. 
And then you have the high priestess energy uh, clarifying the six of pentacles here. I don't know. You keep on having like some type of spiritual significance, the spiritual association with y'all's reading. And that could just be me simply projecting Pisces just because I'm a spiritual practitioner, perhaps. But the high priestess and then you got the high hierophant, which and I see the hierophant as the male high priestess here. You know, that's that divine counterparts here based off of, again, from your cards as well here. Connect to your spiritual team if you haven't, but I feel like there's just a lot of like, there seem there's, I don't know, it's going to be very personal, but I feel like there's just like either hints or clues that your spiritual team are going to be leaving omens here. Maybe even left in this reading. I don't know. Start paying attention to signs, repetitive numbers, perhaps as well. Whatever way that you connect to your spiritual team. But anyways, Pisces, this reading has gone on long enough. It's probably my longest reading that I've done, honestly, on this channel, I believe. <laughs> but um, I love you so much, Pisces. Hopefully you found some of these tarot cards helpful. If you did, let me know in the comments below. Give this video a like and subscribe because it is uh, completely free to do. If you enjoyed this reading, remember, top right hand corner of your screen, Pisces, right here, darling. All right. If you want to check out your monthly tarot reading, um, but if you want to book a reading with me, Pisces, my website's linked down below. Simply welcome. Dot com. Next to my social medias, TikTok and Instagram are linked down below if you want to connect with me on a more intimate level. Same as here, just simply Valka. But until next time, Pisces, I love you so much, darling. Bye.